Hi, my name is Matt Schroeder. I'm the Vehicle Dynamics Lead at Taiga Motors, and we're here with the Taiga Nomad. So the suspension design on all Taiga snowmobiles, front and rear, is a fully custom Taiga design. The goals in designing it were for lightweight, comfort, and performance. And the suspension geometry and the steering geometry and the shock setup is all, all designed to give optimal control at any speed. So shown here, we have the Sport Utility uh, rear suspension with our high-performance shock package. The crossover uh, suspension on Atlas will feature a 137-inch track length. This is 154. Uh, and our Echo Mountain slash Backcountry variant will feature inboard mounted idler wheels at the rear and the front, uh, as well as 154-inch track length. So the rear suspension on the Taiga Nomad is intended to be lightweight and offer uh, ultimate traction. The lightweight is important because often the rear suspension on a snowmobile can account for anywhere from 10 to 15 percent of the weight of the whole vehicle. And we've managed to pair our design down to about 18 kilograms. We've gone with uh, a dual coilover setup, so a coilover at the front and one at the rear. And then we've used carbon fiber tubes in a few places to keep that weight down. So the chassis design on all Taiga snowmobiles is a fully ground up designed uh, aluminum construction. It utilizes the battery enclosure as a fully stressed member of the chassis to add stiffness. So it was designed with lightweight and high stiffness in mind. The motor is nestled down underneath the, the battery pack, uh, which facilitates a simple belt reduction, as you can see with our belt case here. So because we have no CVT, there's no need for a cross shaft as you would usually see running across, across here, which allows us to slim down the bodywork in that area. Working on a snowmobile is, is an extremely interesting product from an engineering standpoint. The big reason for that is that we don't have tires, we have a track. The track has a surface contact with the snow. So if we're talking about a car, you have a point of contact for the front tire and a point of contact for the rear and that, that distance between them always stays the same. But a snowmobile is a little bit more complicated because you have a distributed contact on the track. And so understanding that was hugely important to understanding how to build a proper suspension system and how to optimize it for traction and for comfort and for safety. We at Taiga have very demanding standards for the performance of our vehicle. We had a certain weight target that we needed to hit. We had performance targets, we had range targets, and we felt that the only way we could meet all of those is by designing our suspension from the ground up. Being a startup, we have to move very quickly uh, and we have a small team. So that means utilizing all the resources that are available to help you design your system uh, in the most efficient way possible. And for suspension, there's uh, a lot of different degrees of freedom involved with suspension and steering and, and sort of the vehicle dynamics as a whole. So that meant going to software and, and simulations whenever possible. Uh, at Taiga, we have our own proprietary uh, simulation software for the front suspension, for the rear suspension, for steering, and for the vehicle as a whole. The weight is obviously hugely important for any electric vehicle, but for an electric snowmobile in particular. If we found that the chassis was one kilogram too heavy or 500 grams too heavy, we said, how can we, find, how can we find a way to reduce that weight? And how can we get it as light as possible so that it has the greatest amount of range, it has the greatest acceleration, and it's the, the best product experience for the customer as it can be. So we've got a lot more testing to do today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.